we're starting our day, well, our afternoon, really. What better way? Mimosas and another charcuterie plate. And I got the key lime mimosa and the seafood salad, the Bloody Mary seafood salad. All right. And dig in the seafood. Mm -hmm. There's some shrimp and some scallops and mussels. And Mark gave me his olives. And there's some peppers and some Bloody Mary cocktail sauce and some onions. And it does not contain celery, mm -hmm. which is huge. Because I have that, a celery allergy. Yep, you have a celery done. allergy. And know that if you have an allergy, you can come and ask them and they will call mm -hmm. back to the kitchen and ask Check on anything. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Chardonnay. Chardonnay. That's what you showed first. Yep. Chardonnay from Australia. And then the lamb chop with potato crunchies and mint pesto from Australia. Yeah. And you had a bite of it already. It What'd really you think? Good. Really good. Mm -hmm. um, what the mint pesto tastes like? Because that's what I'm most interested it was good. in. No was... strong mint or not? So no. Bad? It good. Just balances it out. Good. It's really good. It's hot. Hot. Day okay. number two. Back. Yeah. Round two. Oh. Lovely filet. Sauce and mushrooms and red wine from Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. inside Morocco here. We're just checking things out at their cool little art exhibit and it's super nice and it's air nice conditioned in here. Conditioned here yeah. And there's nobody in here. So if you need a quiet spot in Epcot to just come cool down and hang out, this is it? definitely the spot to go. It's super it's cool. Right in the pavilion. And you can see all the different art of Morocco. Art and history of Morocco. Really cool. Okay, we made it to our favorite spot at Wine and Fruits Festival at Brazil. Brazil. So we're gonna go get some pork belly and Brazilian cheese bread and rosé. Yep. Five minutes ago, this beverage was fully frozen. Yeah, it's hot. Not so much. Anymore. And humid. Welcome to Florida in September. <laughs> Mark 
has to get to the airport, so after a 30 minute nap in the queue, we're going to have to bail, but we're going through the exit. It's kind of cool. You can see all the cars just chilling and waiting for the rain to pass. We're going to head on out of here. Okay, Mark's going to leave. We're just head waiting now. for his ride to the airport. I'm super sad. Yeah. You're gonna have fun though. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, you're gonna have a good rest of your trip. Bye, I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. Miss you too. Alright. Bye. Bye, Mark. Alright, so we just got to dinner. Mark is on his way on the plane home, and I'm with the travel agency group, so we're getting dinner at Maria and Enzo's tonight in downtown Disney Springs. So hard not to call it downtown Disney. I still call it downtown Disney. Disney Springs. So we're grabbing dinner down here, and it's pretty cool. It's got like a flight theme. So it's got little posters everywhere with destinations and we're up on the balcony. So I'll show you guys around and see what the food's like. All right, I just got done at the void and it was amazing. If you have a chance to come down to Disney Springs and do this, it's mind blowing. Like the most amazing immersive virtual reality experience ever. So you can get a little preview of what it kind of looks like here, but it was so cool. Really felt very, very immersive and just amazing. And they said that they're coming out with two additional virtual reality experiences here soon. Um, Wreck-It Ralph's gonna be joining here in November, December. And then they're gonna be doing a Marvel one as well, probably sometime next year. He thought it'd be around the movie release time. So just really amazing experience. Um, it's down here in Disney Springs. It's kind of over by the Earl of Sandwich. I'll show you kind of where it's at here. So you can see Earl of Sandwich is right there, kind of over by the exit area, Bibby Bobby Petite. And then the void is right here awesome. Definitely check it out if you have the chance. 